You see you, baby. Right, so this is an example of a mechanical timer. Uh, this is one of the most popular uh, timers in Miami-Dade County. Uh, the problem is that very few people know how to program these. In this video, we're gonna show you how to do that. Before we get started into helping you program this, we need to know these three different parts. The first part is the switch um, selector. The second part is the uh, time wheel. And the third part is the day wheel, also called the skipper. Once we understand what these parts do, we can better understand how to program it. The selector switch has three different functions. The middle selection, where it's currently at, is to keep your system off. But let's say I wanted to walk around and check for leaks and keep the system permanently on, I would flip it down. Let's say now we have our program set um, and we want to keep it on automatic, that would be switching it up. The time wheel looks and acts just like a regular clock. This pointer here should be pointing to your correct time. If it's not pointing to the proper time, simply turn the wheel clockwise till you get to the correct time. On the 12 a.m. you should have the silver pin, the larger pin. This is what turns your day wheel down here to the next day. So the day wheel represents 14 days or two weeks. The spring indicates the current day. If it's not on the current day, simply turn it counterclockwise till you get to the correct day. So why does a mechanical timer get off track or time get off track? Well, for one, they're not like the digital timer that saves the time and date. Um, if any power goes out or any power outage occurs, um, the timer completely stops telling time. And also, as the timer gets older, it stops taking the time correctly. So now let's jump into programming. It's important to note that each copper pin is 12 minutes. In this example, we have two zones, 24 minutes each, starting at 6 a.m. Now why is 6 a.m. a good time? If we water too late, you don't want the water sitting there too long. That promotes fungus and also diseases. Um, and you also don't want to water in the afternoon time where most of the water is going to be evaporated. So now let's think about how long we should run our irrigation system. Well, in order for us to find that out, we need to know what kind of sprinkler heads in the, in the landscape. If you have these type of heads, which is the rotor heads, it's going to take longer to apply water. Therefore, you need to give it more time. If you have the type of heads that put down a lot of water fast, you should put less time. So now let's program our days. In Miami-Dade County, we're on permanent two days a week restrictions. So we need to be on specific days to irrigate. First thing you do is push down on all the pins, lifting the specific days we want. So now let's quickly review what we just learned. Make sure that our pointer is in the current time. We're watering at 6 a.m., which is a good time, and also 36 minutes these zones because we have sprinklers that take longer to apply water. We have our silver pin in the 12 a.m. position, and we have our, our day wheel with the correct days. The only thing that's left to do is to set it on automatic, which is pushing it up, and we're all set. 